What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu. We gotta talk about Batman versus Superman because yesterday I did a video where I was talking about how Zack Snyder teased us with a photo of the Batmobile, but it was covered in cloth so we couldn't really tell what it looks like. But today he just did some tweeting and he posted the photo. And what it reveals is not really all of the Batmobile, but of Batman. Let's take a look at his tweet. He says here, um, I shot this with my Leica camera and monochrome. Hashtag Batman Batmobile at Gotham. All right. And here's the photo. And wow. Okay, let's first take a look at the Batmobile. Okay, the Batmobile looks like um, it, it's it's been driving in the rain. Okay, it, it's been... Um, you can see some some water droplets on it, but um, the Batmobile itself kind of looks like a. You know, I take back what I said in the previous video. I said that it kind of looked like like the um, the shape of it uh, covered in cloth looked like the Batmobile and Batman Forever, but that couldn't possibly be what it would look like in the realistic world. Okay, in in the in the tone, or rather, in the same universe as the uh, Man of Steel universe, right? Because we're talking about a more realistic setting, a more grounded setting, less cartoony like the Joe Schumacher Batmans, right? This looks like, you know what this looks like? This looks like a, um, a spaceship on wheels, like a really sleek looking spaceship on wheels from what I can tell, all right? Uh, I mean, if you take a look, the wheel in the back and the wheel in the front, they're not covered, all right? They're, they're, it's kind of like how the tumbler has the wheels outside of the car as opposed to within the 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 you know covered up by by the chassis all right now let's take a look at batman and i gotta say wow that's ben affleck underneath that suit okay well as far as i can tell it could be a stuntman but uh we're supposed to believe that this is ben affleck as bruce wayne as batman now the first thing i gotta say about this costume is i love that we're not doing a fully armored uh, looking Batman. You know, Batman, Michael Keaton, I mean, Michael Keaton, Batman, the Dark Knight Batman. It's like full on armor, right? This, in a way, looks like some kind of cloth. I mean, you can see the ripples and the texture on the, uh, the, 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 um, the, 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 you know, the suit, right? But the most notable thing about this is, well, let's just say this, okay? It feels like it's a cross or rather a hybrid between the Arkham Asylum Batman, you know, from the video games, the Arkham Arkham Batman, okay, and the Adam West cowl. Because the Adam West cowl is the one with the stubby ears, right? And I kind of like the fact that they're not going with the long ears that we've seen in the previous films. Um, what is... And I find that really, really cool. It, it feels like um, when when uh, Zack Snyder is working on this film or, and David S. Goyer, they are uh, asking themselves, how can we make the bat suit different? We don't want to draw any inspiration from any of the movies, okay? And, like, not any of the movies at all, okay? But we do want to draw inspiration from the classic look of Batman. So, first of all, they took, they looked at the, the cowl, okay, with the stubby ears. So, that would be, like, the, the Adam West version from back in the, the 60s. And then... They, uh, they they went to look at the video games because the video games have never been adapted into film, all right? Uh, and, of course, they looked back into the comics, all right? Because the comics obviously was the inspiration for the look of the video game. So what we have here is a really classic-looking Batman look. It's not a Batman in the cinematic universe, like as in the Dark Knight uh, universe and also the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher universe. So it's definitely... A, a huge step away from that and what I gotta say about that I'm liking it all right I'm liking the look I'm liking this new direction that Zack Snyder's taking uh, it's it's definitely something that feels like uh, um, it's like it's not Christopher Nolan but if Christopher Nolan were to reboot his own franchise the Dark Knight franchise this would be it so, very, very cool. I'm liking this. You know what? I never had a problem with Ben Affleck being Batman. A lot of people are, like, feeling very negatively about that. But I was always neutral. I don't think he's a, 
a, a, a bad actor. I, I think he's not the greatest actor, but I still think he's a he's a very visionary filmmaker. All right. Well, what does that have to do with uh, him being Batman? Well, as a visionary filmmaker, he wants to put he wants to do the best he can as Batman. All right, because there's a lot of fans out there that are not happy with the fact that he's Batman. Well, you know what? This photo right here, man, this is the beginning of what could be something very, very positive. All right, and that's all I got to say in this video. Check out the photo. Um, I've posted it on Facebook. You can take a look at that and make your comments on it. Go over to the Rage Nation Facebook page. And always, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. Check out my photos on Instagram, at The Rage Nation. I'll see you next time. Peace. X-Men flick. He also mentions geeking out, X-Men Days of Future Past, mine, uh, oh, uh, no, he's, okay. I already, I already mentioned that. Sean O'Connell says, wow, Days of